Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Throughout your life, you do a lot of thinking. You solve problems, decide what to eat for breakfast in the morning, and choose to watch this video. Thank you for that, by the way. You made all of these decisions consciously, right? Well, maybe not. The subconscious, more commonly known as the unconscious, controls quite a lot of our behavior. It contains a vast amount of knowledge, habits, and associations that help us process information very quickly. And it does all of this without us even being aware. Take driving as an example. If you've been driving for a long time, it's probably second nature to you. You don't really have to think about it very much. Clearly, you're still driving, because otherwise you wouldn't be going anywhere, but you're not as hyper aware of everything like when you were first starting out. Your unconscious is doing most of the work without you even realizing it. According to Sigmund Freud, the unconscious mind influences our behavior and contains suppressed memories that are too painful or tedious for a person to confront. Freud thought that dreams and slips of the tongue, also called Freudian slips, could be analyzed and reveal some of these suppressed memories. If you accidentally say the wrong word, Freud probably has an explanation for it. We can get to more of that in another video. And believe it or not, the unconscious does affect how we behave. A study was done in which some students had to briefly hold either a hot or cold beverage. Afterwards, they had to describe the personality of someone based off of some facts on a sheet of paper. The students who held the cold beverage described the fictional character as being much colder and selfish than the other students did. Weird, right? Psychologists call this priming, meaning that some of the particular goals or motives are activated in response to a certain stimulus. We are more likely to be competitive if there's a briefcase in sight, and we tend to drive faster than normal if we read about a cheetah. But that's not the only thing the unconscious can do. In a recent study, images were flashed at a person's eye. It was done quickly enough that they didn't have enough time to focus on it. Throughout the experience, a math problem like 9 minus 4 minus 3 was flashed as well. Afterwards, one of two numbers was shown to the participant and they were told to read it aloud. If the number shown was the correct answer to the math problem, in this case 2, that number was read off significantly quicker than the other. This seems to suggest that our unconscious is more intelligent than we may have previously thought. Not only can it influence how we act, but it can also do our math homework? Amazing. There is so much more to talk about with the unconscious. We can go in several different directions. And if you'd like to see more episodes on it, let us know and we're going to make it happen. Domain.com is the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain and web hosting needs. And because you're a beautiful individual and watch Life Noggin, we can get you 20% off new domains, web hosting, and email by using the code Noggin when you check out. So, go make something awesome. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. What should we talk about next? I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, you are amazing. And don't forget to keep on thinking.